Happy blissful day, day blissful beings. beings, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Gabriel, and my name is Kylie. And in today's video, we want to share with you guys that your reality, your 3D, is just a reflection of your current state. It's just a reflection of your mindset. When you change your mindset, you change your 3D automatically. You don't even have to lift a finger because your 3D is just a mirror. It's showing you where you're at at the moment. So if you don't like what you see in your health, your happiness, your wealth, your bank account, all you have to do is just go within your closet, the imagination. You just go within your imagination and you change that. And how you change it is by accepting what you really, really want. What do you want? I don't know. Kylie doesn't know. It's your reality. What do you really, really want? Now that you're clear in what you want, accept that you have it now. In other words, you have to accept that you are the person who now has your desire. So if you want a Ferrari, you have to accept that you are a Ferrari owner and you have to live from that place. So in other words, when you think about your Ferrari, you have to think now, mm, I'm actually going to take my Ferrari to the car wash or to the valet on Wednesday. And then on Friday, I'm going to go to my best friend and take my best friend for a ride mm -hmm. because He's always been bugging me and asking me, when are you going to take me for a ride? When are you going to take me for a ride? And you do this all in your imagination. So when you do that in your imagination, you're fulfilling yourself. And when you fulfill yourself, you don't have to, you don't have the need to look at the 3D for where is the Ferrari coming? How is the Ferrari coming? Because you now know and understand that your imagination is the only reality and whatever you accept in imagination reflects in your 3D, whether you like it or love it. Yeah, I think that second part is so crucial because it's one thing to have a desire, but it's another thing to actually accept that it's a reality now. Because you could say to yourself like, oh, I want a million dollars, but I'm poor. Or I want perfect health, but I don't have perfect health. Or I want to be six feet tall, but I'm only five eight. You know, you can tell you you can have these desires, and it's great. I mean, every single person in the world has a desire, but it's how you go about that desire that really makes the impact. So if you kind of just leave it as a desire, it likely won't manifest because you're still in a state of not having it. Mm -hmm. It's still just a desire, something that you theoretically want one day. Mm -hmm. But if you accept it right now, that's what makes a difference because you're not coming to it from a place of, I want to be six feet tall, but I'm mm. only 5'8". Mm. You're saying, no, right now, in my imagination, yes, I'm six feet tall. Mm -hmm. The world looks so nice from up mm -hmm. here. I'm mm -hmm. confident tall. People are always like, whoa, mm -hmm. look at this. Like, this person's so tall and beautiful. Mm -hmm. Because you're coming from it, not from a place of lack, but a, from a place of having it already. Mm -hmm. And that's what allows it to manifest in the 3D. Yeah, exactly. So now, as we mentioned, if you are not happy with your reality at the moment, take a moment right now and change it. How you change it is in your imagination. And just remain faithful to this new change. Irrespective of what your 3D shows you. You remain faithful to that new change and then your 3D will then catch up to you because remember your 3D follows you wherever you go and whatever you accept here your 3D shows right that's a nice rhyme <laughs> <laughs> right okay so but you guys get the idea right it, 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 it it's awesome manifestation is fun manifestation is simple it's just sometimes you know we trying to complicate it mm. Because all we need to do is just to accept that we are the person who now has our desire. And then just remain faithful to that. Yeah, and I think, it, like you rightfully said, we are the ones who overcomplicate it. We're mm -hmm. like, well, how am I supposed to accept if the 3D doesn't show? 
Mm. Well, because you don't have to accept the 3D not showing yet. You accept your imagination. Mm -hmm. You accept what you feel and what you experience in this amazing, wonderful, true, higher self of yours. Mm. And that's what makes all the difference. Indeed, indeed. So there you have it, guys. Now you know exactly how to change your 3D. Remember, don't fight your 3D. Your 3D is simply harmless. It's harmless. It's like a soft stone, a cold fire. You know, <laughs> harmless. It just shows you where you're at. So remember your 3D is your friend, so don't fight your 3D. You know exactly what to do. And, you know, share in the comments below, like, um, uh, your takes and um, what do you really want and how are you now going to go about and, um, and, and just change your 3D, right? Because when you change your mind, your 3D changes automatically. Having said that, thank you for commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing. And um, as always, keep smiling. Enjoy your blissful day. And if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can find all the details below. And having said that, thank, thank, you, you, thank, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.